Hey, noob noob. How do you feel about that D? I like it hot and steamy. All that D. Thick and rich. Mmm, we're talking House of the Dragon. Delicious. That's right, it's Noob Noob and Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're talking a little hot D. We're doing a mid-season, five episodes in, review of Hot D. We're talking about House of the Dragon. We're going to give it our, our grade, kind of sum up what was going on, explore things that shouldn't be explored, the forbidden, and uh, see where it takes us. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling five episodes in to the Hot D? I, I need more D. And there was at least one shot of D. And more... No, was there, though? Oh, yeah, there was, like, a close-up of, like, a dude Dwang. Oh, not, like, an important person's dick. No, dick. just some random orgy. I need some Matt Smith dick. Oh, my God. I need that dragon D. I don't think you're going to get that, He needs per to se. show that literal hot D. Wow. Patty Constantine? Don't need to see his D. Nah, I think he's packing. Oh, my God. I don't I need to he, see Patty the packing D. I think he's D. bringing the thunder. Oh, my God. He's acting circles around everybody, so I think he can smack some dick around everybody, too. That is true. Uh, of all the actors, I would say Patty, whatever. Uh, Matt Smith is pretty great. Yeah, but he's not as important as Patty McD. Sure. What is that guy's name again? Patty Constantine? Yeah, Patty Constantine. He is the best. So far, he's the best one. As far as comparing it to the original Game of Thrones, I think it's a little bit of a cheat that they're using the old Game of Thrones theme song. I'm not a big fan of yes, them just doing that. You did a whole rant on it that I no did. one's ever going to watch. No, no one Nor cared about it. Link. I will link it. Nope, I can do that. I can link to. it right up here. You're going to see it. I'll edit it out. You will not because you don't know how to edit anything. Fair enough. Yes, I was very mad about that. So I did a, a whole rant on it. So anyway, as far as it compares to Game of Thrones, we were saying previously, before the Amber Alert occurred, yes, that it's not as good as uh, seasons one through five of Game of Thrones, but it's not as bad as seasons six through eight of Game Season of Thrones. Season six is pretty good, though. Ramsey was pretty cool. The, I felt like the Battle of the Bastards was, was Ramsey in the books yes very much so okay well then there you go so they kind of follow the books season 6 yeah but it, it goes beyond the books and then predicts it predicts some it, like it's just not that as soon as D&D &D, which is uh, D.B. Benahoff and Weiss ran out of the book material to work with they started to flounder and they suck and haven't done anything good since I do like that their careers completely flamed out. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like because if if everyone recalls, George R. R. Martin came and pleaded with them to make Game of Thrones ten seasons, but because they wanted to cash me outside and get them big bucks, they thought that they could leverage Netflix and Disney to get themselves a big fat contract to make either a trilogy of movies for Star Wars or a giant Netflix deal, neither of those turned to be circumtuitous for either of them. The only thing that any of them has done is one did a kind of silly movie about a metal a kid like who likes metal music, and that was it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, their trilogy for Star Wars is toast. Absolutely gone. I think everybody realized that they were exposed as frauds once they no longer had the books to adapt. I think they should play to their strengths and adapt other books because they did a really good job of adapting the books in a really intelligent way. But once it came to like figuring out what to do after that, it was it was bad. It all went downhill very quickly. But Hot D brings more dragons and everybody needs more dragons. Yeah, so let's take a look at the Rotten Tomato score here. We have it so far with five episodes in at 85% with a 670 critic um, count. A that's a people. lot of, that's a, normally that's the a average is like 350 ish. 354 is like the amount of professional critics. This has got 670, which is kind of crazy. And then the user ratings is also at 85% at 5,909. I'm going to say that that's pretty fair. That's probably like I would rate it right at a B. It's a B plus. Yeah, B B plus. Eh, I don't know 
know if I give it a B plus. It's a little whether that's gonna hold when it goes to old version. Oh, that that's... old D. That's the problem here, folks. We're talking about young D. Prior to the to the we're gonna call it young D and jump. old D. Yes. The ladies are about to get older and a lot uglier. A lot uglier. The eggs are drying. Yeah, we if we look at the cast here, most of them will stay the same. And this shouldn't be spoilers to anybody because, well, we haven't seen it, so we don't know. Millie Alcock is gone. So the girl who takes all the yes. cock, she's gone. Emily Carey, who plays young Allison Hightower, gone. They're going to age them up for these old hags, Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook. I am not impressed by either one of them. And I saw footage and I'm like, oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. Patty Considine is fantastic. Acting circles around everyone. Uh, Matt Smith is too. He's just not in it enough. The, some of the best scenes in the actual show itself are between Patty Considine and Matt Smith. For sure. The scene where he like holds him down and is like, he's like, marry me to Renares. Yeah. And that's pretty hot. I'm also sad that, uh, what the hand auto high tower is no longer in it. Presumably. That's true too. Uh, he Reese was great. Iffens was great. Fantastic actor. Totally love what he's doing there. Let's just talk. Let's take a look at some of the episodes themselves. So we can kind of keep this in, you know, order of some kind. The first episode is called Heirs, Heirs of the Dragon. Viserys hosts a tournament to celebrate the birth of his second child. Rhaenyra welcomes her uncle Damon back to the Red Keep. I that thought, that uh, tournament did not go as planned. No, and the tournament was kind of dumb because you ha here you have the sons of lords and ladies and they're fighting to like the death. And if you recall from Game of Thrones, and this is one of the problems, is the writers are not as good, right? If you recall in Game of Thrones, when the mountain fights Sir Loras, right? You remember Sir Loras, yeah. the hot guy? When the mountain fights him and kind of like dismounts him and, it, and almost kills him, the entire audience is like, <gasps> and that's the way the audience should react because they're not expecting any of these lords or ladies, like any of the lords fighting should not die or the sons of lords should not die. And here in the middle of it, because they're trying to get an emotional response from you, they're trying to compare like the emotion, the the bloody emotion of the battling of the men compared to the 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 woman who's giving like a cesarean section. They're trying to compare the two of them, and it doesn't make any sense. Like they're just telling it because they wanted to like film that scene of like people getting smashed in the face and a woman like bleeding out. But in reality, that doesn't make sense, and it's contrary what they already did in Game of Thrones. So I thought that was kind of stupid. And then the fact that uh, Damon cheats, he would have been, the, the the audience would have been very mad at him. They would have been like Does yelling. Does Yeah, because he kills the horse and he did oh, it intentionally. Yeah. And that's looked down upon. They would have been, they would have been like catcalling him and like screaming at him and, and throwing things at him. So I thought that was kind of a missed opportunity. I mean, overall, it's still good. I just think that there's these like glaring inconsistencies that don't make any sense, including the depiction of, of Rhaenyra's. She is a boss chick, but doesn't really know if she wants to be a boss chick, but she does always want to speak to the manager. Who's her dad? Who's the king? She also wants some D from some hot, hot nights. But we haven't gotten there yet, but uh, in the second one is the Rogue Prince. Rhaenyra's oversteps her bounds and the small council Viserys is urged to secure secession through marriage Damon announces his, his intentions what are his intentions I don't remember sex sex with Renarin it's always sex oh yeah he tries to bang a whore but he can't finish uh no that was later mm mm wasn't episode two I think it was mm. yeah, yeah because remember after the son dies the son is born and the son dies and then he gets in trouble because he's in the horse he's in the horse den and he said he cheers to the death of oh, the king for yeah, one yeah, day yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. see how i know this better yep. than you because mm -hmm. you didn't pay attention this long haired matt smith correct i don't know why did they cut his hair that was stupid 
I not that I liked his hair. His he's a, not a good looking man. He somehow pulls it off though. His face is very unfortunate. He pulls it off though. I guess. I mean the blonde the the white hair thing is a little ridiculous at this point. They got some like the sea snake has like white hair with his dreads or what I don't know what's going on. It's all very confusing because his wife, who's the king's cousin, right? They're cousins. Yeah. Also, everybody has white hair is connected to any I don't understand. So anyway, they go to the, the third episode, second of his name, Damon and the Sea Snake Battle of Crab Feeder. The realm celebrates Aegon's second name day. Rhaenyra's faces the prospect of marriage. That's the one where the Lannister comes to put his moves on. Rhaenyra's. And double she's like, Lannisters. F all that. What's that? There was double. There were uh, one guy plays two characters. The twins or whatever. Twins? Yeah. I don't remember. There's twin. Mm-hmm. The, remember the dual Lannisters? There are two. I don't remember two Lannisters. Yeah, there's like one douchey one, and like there's one like okay one. I'm telling you, it's yeah, it's a thing. Man, I don't Look believe you. Look it up. Uh, maybe I'll have to. I don't remember that because it, they do throw an awful lot of characters at you at once, and the crab feeder is pointless. Very much. There's like a fight over the stepstones, and it's impacting commerce. And none of it makes sense. They send the crab. The, apparently, the free cities and bravos send the crab feeder out to stop the. There's pirates, but then he becomes a pirate, and then he starts uh, feeding crabs. A lot of things. Why is he controlling crabs? A lot of crabs, man. Why does he have any power? He loves crabs. Why does anyone care? Because he's just on a one section of one island with crabs. How come? Dragons can't go into caves. I thought they lived in caves and castles and things. I don't I, know. I thought they just go in, poke their head in, breathe fire. I would assume so. I would yeah. assume they could just burn people out. Or you just sit there at the front and of the starve cave. Starve them out. Starve them out. Yeah. Not that hard, but you know what? They couldn't think of that. Yeah. This is why the writing is not that great. That's why it gets a lower rating. The acting is good, but the story itself is kind of nonsensical. King of the Narrow Sea, episode four. Rhaenyra cuts short her tour of Westeros. Damon introduces the princess to the street silk after dark. This is what we're going to call the sex episode. Oh, yeah. Damon gets the this. sex so sex. Until episode. he realizes she wants it too. And he's like, nah, hard pass, dog. Yeah, that's where uh, you shouldn't have to watch an after show to understand. And apparently the writers and the actors don't actually know the motivation because they disagreed. The one was saying that he couldn't get it up to bang Rhaenyra's because she wasn't fighting back. And the other was saying that he couldn't bang her because it wasn't right because it's his cousin, even though that's the Targaryen tradition. I don't no, know. it was totally because she wanted it. No, that's what you say. Yeah. No, she, she didn't wanted want it. Forcibly. He's like, nah, I don't want you to want it. I want to take it. Anyway, she's left holding her pants down her pants are around her ankle and she's left there holding the bag and she needs something she so needs some she goes and takes sir christian sir christian the christian man after 20 minutes of undressing yeah oh my god the longest undressing scene i've ever seen in anything and there's a big it's it's weird too because there's like a whole horror scene or like prostitutes and things i don't know it was weird i didn't like it, it made me uncomfortable I liked it very much. Oh, my God. And then we get to the episode five, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm a little confused, especially with the title of it, calling We Light the Way. Damon visits his wife in the Vale. Spoiler! He kills her. Viserys and Rhaenyra broker agreements with the Velen Valerians. Oh, the Valerians. Yes, yes, yes. And Allison seeks the truth about the princess. She finds well, out she's that the a princess is a hoe. She's spreading it all around. Mm, getting it on. Feeling strong. Well, she, while uh, Rhaenyra's has been getting it on, apparently that's disturbing. Like, they're trying to do another red wedding, and it's just not as successful. It's a hate crime wedding. It's a hate crime wedding. Yeah. It's again, and of course it caused controversy because it's a bury your gays trope. Where, like, if you're gay, you got to get killed because you can't be defending anyone if you're gay. Like, uh, what? Say who? I don't The whole 
the whole scene of the murder made no sense. Yeah, I was expecting something crazy to happen, and then I was like, of all the things that could potentially happen, this is the least interesting and most, the biggest, dumb, like the dumbest thing that could happen, right? Yes. Like of all, like you're thinking Matt Smith's going to do something, you know. Maybe Allison and uh, Rhaenyra just scissor. Well, that's what I don't understand because it's called We Light the Way. And Allison is like, she wears green and they make a big deal about saying like, oh, when the high towers go to war and the veil goes to war, they wear their war colors of green and she's ready to go to war. And then Sir dumbass goes and is like I'm gonna go beat this guy to death and then I'm gonna go kill myself I'm gonna commit oh, seppuku yeah. even though seppuku doesn't exist back then you would just be like please cut my head the man asked to be killed several times because he gave up his oath the sex with Renera must have been that bad no it was that good that he was addicted to the poo nanny oh boy he was addicted to the poo nanny he asked her to leave with him He's like, let's leave and be free. And she's like, I'm rich, bitch. And he's like, I don't need any of that. I don't want, I have a title. I'm like the queen of the freaking world. What do you, you want to go be slumming it out in Bravos? He's like, there are places I'd like to see. And she's like, bitch, I could buy those places. Right? Is that not what she says? Basically, yeah. Yeah. She's like, what are you talking about? You insane, lovely, lovely man. What are you talking about? You silly little man. Give up those dreams of yours. I own all of this and more. So yeah, and then people are starting to realize like, oh, she didn't secure her title as well as she should have. And then she marries the Fae guy. Oh yeah. Fedor. That sex must be real bad. Oh my God. Apparently we're gonna see more of it because we don't know what happens in episode six. There's only 10 episodes. What do you think? Are you excited? Do you think it's a B plus? Do you think it's a B? Do you think it's a C minus? Is the young version going to be better than the older version? Oh, are you ready for the hot? The are you are you down oh, with the, the new hotness? Or are you down with the the old the old hacks? I think the the first five is going to be better than the last five. I have a feeling for that. Like, just look at this cast, folks. Are you? I mean, and how do you feel about those actresses and? Patty Considine and Matt Smith, they all get to reprise their roles, but Millie Alcock and Emily Carey all get to say goodbye, and they have no idea what's going to happen, and Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook are going to take over. That's what I call sexism, misogyny. What do you think? Tell me, am I wrong? Probably. I mean, I'm usually wrong. Fabian Frankel, I'm sure they're not going to age him up. No, that man's delicious. They're going to leave him exactly how he is. They're going to uh, we're gonna see more some some more Larry Strong. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, people. Let us know in the comments below because we'd like to hear your opinion. We read all the comments, we respond to all of them. In the meantime, you can also check out our full-length audio podcast. It is on all things Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more for free to you anytime you want it. You can also hang out with us Friday night, 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live streams. It's a lot of fun. Come get some amazing investment advice from Insult Investor. Watch us get in, in, uh, insulted by not freezing these balls, but... Freezing black balls. And you can also check out some of our other great folks and more. It's great chat, good times, had by all. You can also be sure to share this because that helps us grow this greatly. Catch our shorts. And if you do not like and subscribe, there is a hot chance that Noob Noob does this. I will take you to a brothel oh and force you to penetrate me. Oh my god, no! Until I say stop, but you know you, you don't want to. You never will say stop. And then you're gonna stop, and then I'll be like, no, wait, I want more. No! And then I'm gonna buy you a cupcake. Oh god. And then we're gonna go to lunch, and then maybe start a relationship, and then no. I'm not gonna give it up for a little while. You know, obviously make you earn that shit. Oh my god. After at least a month or so, four dates minimum. Oh god. I'll maybe let you touch my penis. Oh my god. And and then, you know, we'll see how it goes from there, but depends on how your mouth feels. And <sighs> two months later, I'll let you put a baby in me. And uh, then eventually what? I'll shit one out because I think that's how babies are oh, made. Okay. You shit but out. babies. But babies. And uh, that'll be the Prince of Dragons. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, if you're excited for that and more, please uh, check us out. But for us here at Our Views Will Kill You, we're on to the next one. <laughs>